Oke, oke, baboni bebe. Oh, I thought you were doing. I'm reloaded. Oh, oke. Oke, I'm reloaded. I'm bad bunny. You motherfuckers think you big time? I'm bad bunny. You're daddy Yankee. God. Oke, oke. Gasolina. I have a can of gasolina on me. That's all you know from Bad Bunny. See. <laughs> See. <laughs> and who'd you learn that from? From Daddy Janky. <laughs> That's all I know from him. Oh, yeah, Daddy Janky. You Daddy told me Yankee. Daddy Janky. That's who I am. Do Bad Bunny. Oh, hello, Thiri. <laughs> hey, Thiri. Can you play the number one song in the world? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's a baller ass shit. And he's got like the little, like the little, like he has like his hairstyle right now is rocking like the beads, like, like a young black girl, like doing jump rope, like in the 90s he, he or the has, 80s. Well, like, he has like that two. hairstyle. You know what he, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, <laughs> he has two though hairstyles right now. He also has like three buns, like on, on three bunnies. A- you get it? I am oh, bad bunny. I am, wow. I am a, I want thing out of this episode. a comedian. <laughs> I want out. You can do this episode by yourself. Wait, let's say our pronouns real quick. I'm a he. I'm a starfish. You and I are sick. You walked into a lion's den. You wouldn't know that it was human meat until they said to you, human carpaccio. When I think about eating people, not only do I think about how they would taste, but I also like to think about their personality. Walked into a lion's den. Just call me my guy and we're good. Yeah, call me my dude. That's yeah. it. <laughs> You sound like the dumbest robot made. I am the dumbest robot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Splitting Hairs. On this podcast, you're going to learn about yourself. I'm Asha Salzano. My name is Chris Metcalf. We're all we're all lizard people anyway. All right, so if you're just tuning in, this is uh, Splitting Hairs still. <laughs> <laughs> With Ash and Ash. <laughs> With Ash and Ash. Chris and Chris. Chris. So, uh, you know, I was looking at the ocean and I, we went down there. We took a walk because this is like the storm is crazy. Yeah, we went and down, we, we bundled up and went down there. Yeah, yeah. and because and, um, we were talking about it in the last episode, too. And we were like, fuck it, let's just go do it. And it was fucking crazy. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. I mean, you could feel like the waves like pounding. Like it's it's like insane. It's like yeah. out of a movie. It feels it, like it. what's funny, what's strange is that we were down there and we had like there was mad like there was hail hitting us in the face and sand because it, it was kind of like a sandstorm, <laughs> like almost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how I felt when the sand was just taking me yeah. everywhere. So like when we got back, all my clothes were wet, and I was like, I didn't feel like I was getting that wet. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like rain falling on me, but it's because you don't feel it because it's like the wind. It's just like right, hitting the adrenaline, against you. adrenaline, right? Yeah. And you're but like I think it's there. like slapping you instead of falling because of the wind. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's slapping you instead of falling. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and you're not like, yeah, it's like dews up and like bunches up. Yeah. And then yeah. by the time you get back, you're like, fuck, I'm like sandy and wet. You don't even realize it. Yeah. You've spent a lot of time in your childhood growing up near I used to lifeguard down here yeah. in the summers. Yeah. See, I don't have that experience. So the the ocean just looking like that, I'm like, Well, nah. see, I was going to, I, I well, so that was one of the things I, w- I wanted to ask you, like, I don't even think I've even asked you off mic. Like, is like, what's like the craziest weather you've seen? Like, where does this scale up? To like, <sighs> as you're thinking, we're playing of the video of you standing in the wind. A hundred percent. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, there's been some rains and some hail in New York, but like, I mean, the weather isn't crazy. Like this weather isn't crazy. Just the water. I've never seen it. Like right. The this. ocean like this. Yeah. I've yeah, never yeah, seen yeah, the yeah, ocean yeah. like this. That's what's because I've seen weather worse than this. In New York, I've seen it worse than Puerto Rico, but, like, in Florida, too. Right. But it's the water. Like, I've never been, like, this up close to the water in a storm for this long. Like, we're staying here. Like, this house is on the water. Yeah. Like, yeah, you walk past the beach, and you're like, oh, there's a storm coming, and you can see it. Right. But this is my first time, like, staying at a place that's right there in the water. So I get to see it build up, right? Like, when we first got here... It was calm, and you were like, oh, you were like the calm before the storm. And I was like, oh, there's a storm coming. And you were like, no, for real? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. where the fuck you been? <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I was like, there's a storm coming, supposedly. But And I mean, we're so, 
I guess northeast that we don't believe anything. We're like, oh, storm yeah. is coming, Pfft, like we'll rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the house is like getting lifted. Up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, so I thought nothing of it too. So I was like, oh yeah, there's supposed to be like some some snowstorm in New York, and like then. Fast forward two days later, we're like stuck here and we're looking right. at this water. And so I've seen it change from like nice, nice little waves. Like, pssst. well, it was still funny that because the first day we got here, you like you were we were looking at the water and you're like, yo, it's these waves like some of these waves are big. I was like, yo, just yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was like nighttime and I was like, yeah. oh, they're coming in. Pretty. You inside one of the waves now, you'd be like this big inside of it. It would just like gobble you up. I don't fuck with waves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck with stitches. I don't fuck with waves, yo. I don't fuck with waves, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't fuck. I have, I have a lot of respect for the water. I mean, I yeah, it's all, it's all you know, yeah, unless you're I'm an not, oil tycoon. I'm not. Well, I have respect for it because I'm scared of it. So I'm <laughs> like, it's not like I am. I'm like, I am one with the water. We right. are two. Like, I just have respect because it's think like people, gangster. The water I, is gangster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard someone describe the ocean as gangster. But it Yo, is. Yo, the ocean's gangster as fuck. It is. But it is. No, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Yeah, it has. Yes. Yeah, the 100%. ocean's fucking gangster. It will take you at its will. Yeah. Doesn't care. It's yeah. always hustling. Yeah. Like, really, like, it's always on the go. It's, yeah. It's always fucking shit up and then it's like, I'm out. And yeah. like, it doesn't care who you are. You get But it's hit. got a nice side sometimes, but like, it never shows it's got a sweet side. Because it will kill you at any moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's always got to be, you know, because we disrespect it as humans too. We'd be disrespecting it. And so it's got to like, set its boundaries and, and disrespect it, us back right and it's yeah. like mad professional too right? yeah because it doesn't glow or nothing like that doesn't it's work. humble yeah. it's a humble gangster yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it really <laughs> is it really is because like because like even people that do work like you hear like growing up you all these people, guys i know that like surf they still surf all the time like yeah there are people that are in the water they're like oh man like the ocean's fucking sick bro fucking like be along like gotta respect the ocean yeah. man because like you know, like, I know my limits, but, like, sometimes I have to, like, push myself to the edge. But I'm like, okay, Mother Earth, like, I, I, I see respect. you. I'll back uh, yeah, off. Yeah. I won't go out for those 10-footers out back. All right. All right. All right, I get I hear it. you. I'll go back and start making surfboards <laughs> out of recycled cans. Yeah. Yeah. They're all, like, into that. Like, oh, I'd like to go down to Costa Rica, eat some fish and beans But that's great. I, if that's who you are, that's fine. That's, no, 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 it's fine. That's but like, I, I'm, I'm going at a side tangent. The point being, though, that they, like, everyone respects the ocean, even the people that go in it. So even though you're yeah. fear-based, <laughs> your respect for it is out of fear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, even, yeah. Even people that are in it all the time are still like, God, respect that shit. It's gangster as fuck, bro. That fucking Yeah, ocean. I mean, fishermen say that all the time. You the gotta ocean respect. shot my whole family one time. Just, just let it go. <laughs> let it go <laughs> it's gangster let, as fuck let it go let go this surf dude you got on you put him on you don't want to take off the suit yet take off the suit <laughs> put the suit to hang I'll take my wetsuit off all right i'm taking it off i don't want to hear that you want any avocados while i don't want i don't want to hear that guy for the rest of the fucking podcast all right tight <laughs> all right all right sick all right sick. <laughs> yeah <laughs> But like, yeah, but a lot of people say, you know, they have, but my, my shit is out of like fear. I don't like, you know, I don't know how to swim. You tried to teach me how to swim. Yeah. We went to the Y. Yeah. Yeah. We, I felt like we did a good job. We were successful. You were like, you seemed good in the water afterwards. Yeah. And, and, and afterwards I went to the beach and, um, I drowned. <laughs> so we were very successful. <laughs> drowned three times. Yeah. But, <laughs> but I'm still here. So yellow. <laughs> No, but you did teach me how to swim, and you, and we did make great like headway. Like we didn't get to finish because a lot of shit happened, and then COVID hit. Right, right, and like so. Well, the biggest thing was you was you had the mindset which everybody does, is you were scared of the idea of deeper water. Yeah, like 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 a lot of times like, and it's natural too, right? You're just like, okay, well, deeper water's more dangerous, but like you're you were able to swim in like four feet of water. With your feet not touching the ground, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But but if but psychologically, it was like, oh, somehow you were like, you would like get 
scared being in the deeper part because you, not knowing that you couldn't touch your feet. Do you know that, what I'm see, saying? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like I can jump into water that's like 12 feet, but I gotta I gotta swim fast to the other side. Like I gotta be like near <laughs> something. Like I, if this is 12 feet right here and this is the the thing, I'm gonna jump in the 15 feet pool right here and then swim up, 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 and then right. Because right? that is my the, the thing is once my feet can't once my feet can't touch the floor, I'm not safe. Right. <laughs> I'm you're not like safe. you're like a you think you're like a paper airplane like that's like you can only get so much glide like when you yeah. jump into the deep end you're like I'm gradually sinking but if I get enough speed yeah. I'll get to the yeah, wall and yeah, be alive yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. exactly like I, I I have like 15 seconds before I drown yeah before I'm yeah like, <laughs> like I got a timer on me. yeah this is my above yeah. time yeah, no my, but that's how I felt and and then but then I went to the beach with Kate this summer at the Cape when we stayed at the Cape and I was swimming out to like uh, sandbars and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, by the last yeah. time we did it, you were, we were just treading water yeah. in like the 10, 12 feet section, just like chilling. Yeah. Like talking. And no, like it did work and we, we had to cut it short, but like, would you say that I was, I was easy to teach? If you had yes. to rate me yes. as a student, what would, what, how would you rate me? Uh, well, because I'm your friend and I wanted to like get you like from like zero to a yeah. hundred fast, I was like ready to do like two sessions a week or whatever. So yeah. that was my, that would be my only critique is like, yo, we could have just like double timed it and done it. But other like outside of that, like in the class, mm -hmm. it was fucking great. Was there anything you didn't like about teaching me? Was there one thing you hated? Was there something that made me difficult as a student? Uh... I don't, I don't think so. You were pretty like, cause you know why, you know why? Like I was in such a, I was so not in like a fuck with you yeah. mindset. Cause I didn't want, like, I wanted you to know how to swim. Yeah. So it was like hard for me to like, I don't know. Okay. There was nothing. There's, I know you were trying to, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm no, sorry. I'm, I'm not giving you I'm something gonna, funnier. I'm, gonna, I'm trying I'm to be gonna, honest I'm with gonna you. I'm going to rate you as a teacher. <laughs> So I'm just glad that you had nothing but positive things to say about me. <laughs> so as a teacher, I'm going to rate you because we're friends like a two out, out of, of 10 out of 10. <laughs> no, okay. I'm with you. No, 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 no. Honestly, look, you're a great teacher. Sometimes you brought sandwiches afterwards that I really <laughs> enjoyed. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bring so, lunch, yo. Yeah, you brought lunch, and um, so I really like that. Um, to was eat there after the swimming, never swim before, because you'll get a cramp. <laughs> lessons, just so you know, hit me up on Instagram on more swim lessons, tips. Take off that swimming suit, Swimming tips. Take off that suit. <laughs> oh, whoops, I left it on. My <laughs> B. My B, yo. I thought we were still at the Y. Sick. Uh, um... I hate that guy. Oh, I hate myself I hate, too. I hate that guy because like I envy him low key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you just want to like live that life. Because his life is like so easy and simple. Yeah. And like, I mean, you think it is, but it is. <laughs> I mean, let's fucking be real. I've been a barista for thirty years. But not even that. Like they, they're they're literally like chill people. They're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm down. And like right. I envy that. Well, the guys I know, they like live that life, and they're like, did you ever see the movie like sometimes Endless I've, Summer? I fight stuff that are good for me. So. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, those the guys I know that like. Talk, usually talk like that they're kind of like they like follow the summer around yeah they're just like oh i want to fucking surf all year they'll like come here for like the summer work at like a bar make a bunch of money mm -hmm. surf when they can and then they're like fuck off to costa rica bro <laughs> they'll like live down on like a fucking hut on a beach down there i know live a, for cheap and then surf all the time i know a bartender that did that like he was a seasonal bartender like in like in the summer, you know, he'll go to Florida. In the winter, he'll go to Colorado. Right. And just like, and and he'll come to New York for the spring or whatever. And, and then like every time you fall, see, yeah. And, and every time you see them in rotation, you're like, "Hey, what's up, Chet? Where have you been?" And he's like, "Well, I was doing like snowmobile uh, ski patrol, like in Colorado for like three months, and then we like kicked it down in like Rio and did like Navi Sta down there and like surfed the sick tubes, and then we just started like hit Asia for." And you're just like, "All right, bro, I'm sorry, I asked." 
<laughs> like they like go. It's like, bro, I don't care about your adventures. For me, it was different. I had like this. It was Danny, this Irish bartender. Okay. And he was like, oh, we get fucking wasted. We yeah. get fucking wasted. <laughs> like he's like, you should fucking come too. Fucking yeah, you fucking love it over there. We get wasted. <laughs> we make a shit ton of money. We get fucking. I mean, we fucking go out for drinks all the time. I'm like, <laughs> what? Like what? Like it didn't matter where it was. Whether he was whether he was talking about spring, fall, winter, summer, it was always yeah. We got fucking wasted. I bring me surfboards and get wasted on top of it. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't even care. He's, he's just like bringing his surfboard over and getting fucked up. He's like, I fucking ski too. Yeah, you know, you're like, no, you don't. He's like, you're right. You know, like he's fucking. He was a fucking. He just followed wherever the fun went. Right, wherever he just felt. Yeah, he wanted to go. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had that freedom about me. Yeah. Well, fuck those surfer people and the Irish people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we took out of this segment. Right. Um, uh, one thing that I hated about you as a teacher, um, you know, I thought you were going to be a little bit hard on me. So I feel bad if I come in here hot. That you... I was just going to say your inability to be fun. <laughs> as a teacher? Well, I told you, I was like, if we do our swim things, we'll have a cannonball contest afterwards. Well, you're and you just, were like, yay. Well, on, I thought you were just going to have more things to say about me. I really didn't think about this that much. I thought you were going to be like, you were difficult to teach because like, you're like stubborn. And like I thought you were going to have a different answer. Yeah. I. But that's a shame. That's like blame on me because I should know that I'm fantastic. You know what I mean? <laughs> Or maybe I did this like subconsciously just so that you can say good things about me too. I mean, anything is possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, your you know hair what was, was really funny? long. It would like get in my face sometimes. That was kind of annoying. It was like seaweed everywhere. Chris, 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 Chris. Enjoy the hair. <laughs> Enjoy mm. the hair. You're not going to have any. Mm. Um, anyways, like I was saying, you stupid bitch. Um... You know what was funny when when you were teaching me this lifeguard, he he was I don't know if you remember him, but he was like watching us, and at one point you were like telling me something, and and he was like, "Well, she's doing great, dude. Like she's doing great. Like he kind of thought that you were being mean to me. Oh, do you remember that? Vaguely, yeah. And. Like every time he would see us, because we 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 would switch from like the other pool to the lap pool. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. time he would see us, he would think like that, like be like he had to be nice to me because Chris was mean to me. Well, because we were also at like a YMCA, and it was like, I'm this probably because like I'm this like older white dude like being like, come on, get in the pool. Like I'm because I'm talking to well, you like we're close friends. Well, yeah, he probably doesn't. He probably like if you look at me and you, he's probably like, why are these two friends? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like he like, probably just thinks. He probably thinks, like, I'm this, like, Spanish girl who, like, doesn't speak good English. And <laughs> you're like, no, but no, 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 no. No, well, he, I was going to say, like, he, but he probably thought, like, you, like, didn't really, you were new to swimming and that, like, you found me online and I'm, like, some asshole teacher that's, like. Right, because of the way we talk to each other, right? right. You were like, oh, come, are you fucking serious? <laughs> like, like, if you saw someone doing that, like, if you saw someone giving a class and they were doing that to someone, you'd be like, this person's a dick. But like right. we would laugh, right? Because like it, it was like you can tell that the guy kind of thought that you were being mean to me because I'm a girl, right? Yes. Like yes. and you, and he kind of felt like he needed to be the hero. And what's funny is that I'm usually mean to Chris, <laughs> and this guy was like just saw us for like five minutes and thought like the opposite of our relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like you're like I know in your head you're like you think this is mean. You gotta see her talk to me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, get me my phone, Ashlyn. <laughs> she calls me. You call me slurs, <laughs> yeah. sexual and ethnic slurs all the time that don't even apply to me. Constantly berated. Yeah. But we also talk to each other like that, right? Like, like yeah. earlier we were working, we were we were doing something on the laptop, and you were bugging me, and I was like, you need to back the fuck off right now. <laughs> and you just. And like you didn't like you're not laughing at me. You're just like you're fucking crazy, but okay, <laughs> you know. Like you're like so. It's like we just talk to each other like that, right? Right. And so it was just that was funny to me because it's like we never think about that. Like we no. just talk. Like I don't talk to you like that because you're a man or because you're white. You don't talk to me like that because I'm a woman. You know what I mean? Like no. We just simply 
talk to each other like that. Right. And it it was just so funny that at that moment, you look like the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I should have went up to that guy and cried to him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but like, please help me, senor. Yeah. I should have been like, you should be to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to get in my high school swim team. I'm sitting on the edge of the pool. I'm like, hey, get back in the pool. You're like, Ashley, you fucking lesbian. Let's go. We don't have time for this shit. Yeah. I got mics at five. Yeah. 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 Well, fuck that kid. Hopefully he's still working there at the Y. <laughs> But it was so cool. It was it, it was a good time because a lot of times we work together and we work together doing comedy. Right. And we like do these things and like, you know, they're so, like I said, you're so military based. They're so like, and it was just, it was cool for you to teach me something, you know? Yeah, it was cool. I mean, look for, I mean, I, I think a lot of it came out of like, because we're friends, like, and I used to teach swim lessons. I used to lifeguard. Yeah. So it was like, I did that stuff. I, I guess I'm just only saying that because I don't want people to think like I just like was like I'm gonna figure out how to teach someone how to swim. Like I, I like oh, yeah, knew you, how you to do it. You drowned in the pool. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, your second class is to save your instructor. Yeah, yeah save instructor. me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, yeah, yeah. Dead, choking on your hair, bringing me to the pool's edge, and it's just like all like down. And, and then down I'll tell the lifeguard he was abusing me. Yeah. He's like, "You're right. You're right. It's okay. Calm down." I'm down. Just let him sink to the bottom. I'll get him later with the <laughs> with the filter. <laughs> the filter will pick him up. I used to do. I used to. I used to. Uh, I used to lifeguard at the Y, like in college, like like part time to mm -hmm. like make a little money. And I there there used to be like it was super super boring. Like yeah. it was like a four or five hour shift, and it'd be like you know old people doing aerobics and then it's like an open pool where it's like some people just doing laps. And then on Thursdays in the afternoon, the special ed kids would come and they'd have like a recess, like pool hour or whatever. And there was this one kid where like, you know how some of them look like they're like, they're like 40, yeah. <laughs> but they're like, like 20 or yeah. like 19 or whatever. This kid was like, he, I mean, it, like I said, he just looked like he was like 40 something years old. And clearly like past puberty at this point right and he was he would, he would do this thing where like if he liked a girl or was like get excited he would like take his foot and like pull he was able to like pull it like all the way up to his mouth and he would like chew on his like toe <laughs> Like he was like, like a nervous tick you yeah, know what I mean yeah. like if you were like 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 sometimes when you like a boy and you you can relate some when you like a boy and you like play with your hair like a nervous t like yeah yeah, yeah 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 and he would just sit there and like stare at whatever he was interested in and like <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i would have to sit there and not pay attention because i like didn't want to laugh because yeah. like it's also the thing where it's just like He's probably getting a boner, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he's probably hiding his boner. Yeah, he's probably hiding like, his yeah, boner. Like, yeah, like up his leg. Yeah, yeah, doing yeah, yeah. the thing. I mean, he looked hung. Yeah. <laughs> he was a big dude. Yeah, he was not a little dude. So, yeah, I it was like it always made me laugh. I was like, fuck. And I always thought about like how much pee is in there. But, yeah, you know. see, so I'm not the worst student you've ever had. <laughs> yeah, luckily they weren't students, but yeah. yeah, no. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, that was that was. I'd much rather teach you, but you, you were you were teaching. You've t you've taught on the beach and you've taught in. I taught lifeguard. I got trained to, yeah. I got certified to teach lifeguard training, mm -hmm. so I would certify people to do lifeguard. But then I also did like pool swim lessons. Like yeah, I actually one time the same Y that I worked at, the guy found out. He was like, "You're overqualified for this job." He was like, "Do you want to do swim lessons also?" And I was like, "Not really." And he was like, "Well, do you want the money or not?" And I was like, "Fine." <laughs> so he gives me like he gives me like like 8 to like 12-year-olds. Mm -hmm. Like it's not com totally by age, it's a little bit by their le their capability of swimming, but like it's usually about like the age like range. So like you know, you get a lot of kids that just like were just in in similar position you were. Where like they could swim like a little, but like the idea of the deep end freaked them out. Yeah. Like that whole thing. Like <laughs> I'm fucking with them. But with them, it's like different because they're not our friends or whatever. And they had like a why like curriculum thing. And I was like, I'm not gonna fall. This is fucking stupid. I'm gonna teach these Did kids. Did that how make to you swim. sad that they weren't your friends? 
<laughs> no, it was annoying because the parents are sitting in the bleachers. <laughs> yeah, but like the parents are sitting in the bleachers. So like I'd have kids like not paying attention, fucking around. I was like, yo, look, you want to be in this cannonball contest afterwards or not? And they yeah. were like, yeah. And I was like, well, then you got to do this stuff now. You got to do this stuff now. And then I'd like we do like cannonball contests yeah. at the end. The guy, the guy who like ran the Y would get like mad at me. He's like, why are you doing cannonball contests? I was like, uh, I don't know. Three days ago, they were scared of the 10 foot deep end. Now they're yeah. all swimming in yep. the 10 foot deep end. And you're getting mad at me because I didn't like do like this warm up thing that you yeah. want to do with them. So like I would get all these classes and then I did get some like adult classes. Like I helped this like millet, this kid who had to go in the army. There was like a small water portion of the test where they had to hold an M16 over their head and tread water for like. 10 or 15 minutes or something and this Holy kid shit. couldn't fucking swim yeah. kid was like didn't grow up near water scared of water and his buddy thought like the water was a gangster thought the water was yeah. gangster as fuck right and his buddy who's also in the army who could swim took the lesson with him which i thought yeah. was really nice of him and by the end we got this kid holding a fucking uh i had him holding up we got like bricks that like weighed about the same weight yeah and we had him fucking like doing it I don't know if he went on to pass the test. They never like told me. I was like, really don't really fucking care. But like, yeah. at least when we did our time trial, we got the kid to do it. But the worst was this one time they needed me to substitute, and I didn't think twice about it. They were like, oh yeah, the class is at like eight a.m. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, fine. And I go there, and it's an infant class. It's like <laughs> parents with babies, and it's not a swim class. It's a nursery in the water. And I'm get down there and all the parents are like, where's where's Cheryl? Yeah. And I'm like, uh, Cheryl's out. I'm filling in for Cheryl. <laughs> and I'm also like, what the fuck? Like, because I like, didn't know. Yeah. They're like, are you qualified? And yeah. Like, and I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm sure I'm not. It was a fucking nightmare because I go, OK, what a... I, you know, I'm like looking at like the little like thing like she left like notes yeah. for me and it's like saying do ring around the rosy pocket full of posy and like the, the kids, are, they can't, they're, they're babies. So the parents the adults, just, they're just in, have them in the water? Because like, it's the idea is that you're getting them comfortable with the water. Like okay. the earlier you introduce like a kid to the water, like they, like I've been swimming since I could walk. So it's like it's just different. Right. Yeah. So I, I think that's like the idea behind it. But it's just like. So now I'm like, ring around the road, <laughs> like leading this class. And and then the t I'm like, if I'm missing stuff, tell me. And like some of the moms are like getting a little aggravated. Like, well, normally Cheryl does a uh, floaty time. And like, like you tell a story and then like you include the kids in the story. I'm like, I... I don't know. Like, how am I supposed to remember all their names? <laughs> like, also, I'm like so You're embarrassed. Like, Winger on the rosy, the kid with the mom with the big tits, pocket full of rose. You know what I mean? Like, I wish that I could even be semi creative. You know, when your like brain disconnects from your mouth and the room yeah. starts spinning when you bomb? I was in that state because yeah. I was so embarrassed that I was even doing this to begin with. It no, was a right, fucking it's, nightmare. It's just like, how are you going to learn these ba and, like, babies in the pool? You know what I mean? That's so. What the fuck? That's like such a specific class that you cannot teach unless you watch someone teach us uh, teach it. Right. Or have like a maternal instinct of any kind. No, still, <laughs> still, I can have six children. I would not know how to. If I was class. running the class the way I wanted to run it, I'd be like, we're going to play Marco Polo with these fucking kids. We're going to get them all. We're going to go all in the deep end. And we're by gonna the end of the uh, by the end of the class, cannonballs. <laughs> Everybody. These kids are going to be doing butterflies <laughs> at the end of this class, these babies. Yeah. You're going to be taking these babies. You're going to skim them, skimming them across the top of the pool like a fucking stone. <laughs> these babies are going to be fucking jet skis. Yeah. By fucking yeah. Done <laughs> when I'm, by the time I'm done, fuck these yeah. songs. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't, you know, because like they're all got peanut allergies or whatever the fuck. So yeah. they're just like in a floaty. We're going to flick water at them like they're getting baptized or some shit. Yeah. One time, I well, like I've been in positions like that too with jobs, and I know, and I know the listeners wanted to listen to my Zoom trivia so bad, <laughs> you thirsty, you thirsty trivia freaks, <laughs> and we'll get to that in a few. But I used to have a job um, at the U.S. Open. Doing what? I used to be a court attendant. Wait, is that where you go get the loose balls? 
No, that's the that's the ball the ball boy. That's the ball boy or ball girl or ball day. So who? So you you don't get the loose dead tennis ball. What do you no, do then? No, I so as a court attendant, my job is to you you I don't know I don't know if you've ever seen them, but it's the people that sit on the court, but like towards the door, like the door of the court, and I got to make sure that there's Gatorade in the in the container, bananas, towels. If the if you know like sometimes it get windy and all the uh, leaves would be on the floor, I had to clean. I had to like you know sweep them mm-hmm. away to the side. And, um, and, and, and this one thing, so I, I, so I'm doing this job, right? And I, I just started whatever. How I'm like old 16. are you? 16. I'm like 16. Okay. I'm 16, 17 working at the U.S. Open. It's my first year. My mom works there every year. So, you know, the U.S. Open three, three weeks out of a year. <clears throat> it's an amazing job. It's a summer job. Right. So, and no, and everyone treats it like, a, even your supervisor who still has that job like all year round. Like some people have that job all year round just to make sure shit is running mm-hmm. they're even cool they're even like yeah who cares they give you like lunch in your id they give you like you can swipe um at any stand for lunch and they pay for your lunch a day it was fucking dope so this is my first time right at the u.s like working and um my supervisor rolando he goes ash uh do me a favor he he loves me by the way he's like making me do all the all the head all the head like kid shit like he likes the way i work so he's like ashton do me a favor <laughs> he likes the way i work he likes the way, he I, likes I, the way I, I stack those towels i got towels behind the towels ready to go extra bananas well the thing is too like when 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 people are like let's say it's 20 of us right let's say there's 10 courts there's 20 of us so i gotta be on call for that court like if that court guy is like yo towels like we don't have towels yo ice and it was ice too we had to bring the ice it was fucking it was a lot of work but anyways but it was leaves, fun. how would you do it would they give you like a broom for the leaves there was just like a yeah, there was like a thing, like a rake. It, they weren't like sweep it up, like no, they didn't just get it fuck. clear. Yeah, just tennis. get it off yeah, the fucking field. Here. So he's like, "Do me a favor, I need you to go and turn on all the phones because there's also phones so that people can call like first aid. You know what I mean? Like the judge okay. needs the, the phone. So he's like, go and turn on all the phones for me, right? So I'm like, boom, I got it, right? Because I've been I've been training. So I'm like, <laughs> I've been training, right? My mother was a court manager. I'm a court manager. I've been training. It's in my blood. I'm like, I'm like, even on my time off, I'm like running around the U.S. Open just to know what's, which which courts are which. Schematics. I've been reading <laughs> I'm the like, schematics. I got maps. Right? I got the blueprints. I'm, all of it. This is my fucking first job. My mom's that been I, training me. Yeah. This is my first job that I like. Right? Like every my sister worked there. I'm like, I got. Wait, your live, sister worked there too? I gotta live up to the legend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did your yeah. sister really work there? Yeah. like so, so. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is legacy yeah, so shit. Is, you but, got this. But we don't all do the same thing. Like, my sister was doing, like, sales, and my mom was doing, like, other Doesn't stuff. Doesn't matter. But it's part, of the, fa- it's part yeah. of the family. Yeah, it's part of the, the, the Rodriguez and the U.S. Open. The U.S. Open Rodriguez. So, we're, yeah. like, so so it's my first time, right? And he's, like, turn on all the phones for me. I'm, like, all right, back. I got you. So, I go, and I run, and I turn on all the phones, right? So, I do that. We're packing up, everybody. Boom, right? Then he, like, reads. He reads us the... He reads us like the list, like okay, Ashlyn, you're gonna go to court twenty, uh, you're gonna go to court ten, and you have backup. You have Denise, right? Let's just say, right? For backup, you have Denise. So whatever you need, Denise has got to come and bring it to you. That's how it worked. So I'm like, all right, boom. So he's like, all right, Ashlyn, um, you're on court twenty two, with da, 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 right. We're all like huddled up, like people are already leaving, like grabbing their stuff. I'm like, I'm like, fuck, I gotta. I gotta tell him. I'm like, Rolando, I didn't know there was 22 courts. I only turned on the phone for like 10 courts. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, guys, he's like, what? Like, things are starting. Wait, he's like, we only have to do 10 things and you didn't do one of them. Yeah. <laughs> But like it's also like my the first task he gave me. Right. Like, specifically. And so I'm like, and I, and he's like, fuck. And I'm like, I can go do all of them right now. Just have the, just switch me and Denise. Like I'll be back up and then I'll relieve her. Like just switch me and Denise. I could do all of them right now. Right. And I did. I was like running <laughs> around. Like <laughs> judges were looking at me like, yeah. <laughs> And I saved the U.S. Open. Are you like? Are you like trying to go through? Two thousand and six, two thousand and seven. Are you doing the thing where you're running and you're like turning a corner and they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa? You're like, I'm a court manager, damn it! And there's only ten phones left. Like, you're like, <laughs> like busting through. <laughs> I'm at the last one, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not gonna stop me, damn it! Yeah. They're like, 
we were just asking you if you're okay because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're because you're bleeding <laughs> yeah through your eyes right now <laughs> no but like the judges were just like because it's like the phone is by their their seat so they were like okay i was like hi like <laughs> i'm a limo driver <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i'm a limo driver but yeah and um I forgot what we were talking about. We were just talking about like. Dope. Oh yeah, so he set me up like with all these, and I've never even been to the other courts. Like he only trained us from like in, in the courts, like one right. to ten. Like he'd be like, "All right, switch," because as backup, you got to bring ice. You got to be and you got to be quick, right? And you got to use like a hand truck. So like, you know, we were like training. And he'd be like, "All right, if this happens, this happens, right?" So I, I'm like, "Yo, it's your, you only put me on ten courts, and then you tell me there's twenty five. Right? He's like, "I thought you were a fucking Salzano, yeah. damn it!" Yeah. Your mother wouldn't have pulled this shit. I was thinking earlier when you were telling me. <laughs> Put that your headband on the table and walk it, away. Yeah. Walk away. And your yeah. wristbands. I used to give us wristbands. I was thinking earlier when you were telling me that your mom and your sister worked there. Like, was there like a time where like he was just like, he's like, you know, me and your mom go way back. Oh, we've done some crazy shit back in the day. <laughs> like, like not the like- 1998 US Open Tour. Your mother killed it at this after party. Slave. Yeah, yeah. Not like that. Like- <laughs> He's like, I have stories of your mother. We were down in ice yeah. in 10 courts, and your mother delivered ice to all 10 of them at the same fucking time. <laughs> I don't even know how she did it. That's what you got to live up to, Salzano. Get me and her another one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not, not really, because they don't really, like, talk to each other. Like, it's, like, it's separate. <laughs> right, when right. you, are like, have separate things. Like, he was the supervisor of court attendance. So, yeah, like, it, it's it's not, like, a big company. You know, you know what? It, right. Not that it's not a big company. It's just, like... Because they don't need everyone to bond to do their job. Right. They really don't give a fuck. So he'd be more it. like, I've heard stories, but I've he'd never like, met oh, her. Like, <laughs> you know, like they'd have like their own talk, right? Like they'd be <laughs> like, oh, your mom, gate three. I love her. Like gate three. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, they yeah, knew yeah. it. Like, oh, uh, Arthur Ashe, gate three. Like, oh, the third section where like that. Because she would check um, tickets for the VIP celebrities. Right, right. So, so he'd be like, oh, I love her. She always lets like people in for me. You know, like <laughs> shit like that, like and like other people used to be like, "Oh, you're a court attendant." And I'm like, "Yeah." They're like, "Yo," because we had access to Gatorade, so we could take Gatorades home. We had access to the bananas, to the Gatorade, so we could take stuff home that most people couldn't. I'm imagining you like walking out of there with like a case <laughs> of Gatorade and banana, <laughs> yeah, 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 like my yeah. banana and my Gatorade yeah. just walking. But so people used to be like, "Yo, yo," like like give me like two Gatorades. And I'll be like, I got Give you. Give me five dollars. Nah, I was like, I got you. I'm like, where you work at? I'm like, all right, let me get into a game. You know what I mean? It'd be <laughs> like that. Or like, or like, you know, like like the Panini people, they'd be like, yo, let, we need like three Gatorades. What's up? Or like three Sprites. I'd be like, I got you. Let me get a Panini Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Wait, but you but were you able to get whatever you wanted anyway? With the did you save it where you can no, get because, whatever you want? You could get like you get like twenty dollars though, but there's oh, so much you okay. know what I mean? Like a panini right. costs like eleven and then you right. know, so if you could get a Gatorade for free, like especially Fuck it. especially yeah. like nobody really lives near the US open. You know what I mean? Because it like out deep in Queens. Yeah, because it's like, you know, you got the Met Stadium and that. Yeah. So it's like it's not really residential, so people had to take the train all the way out there. So right. you had a Gatorade for the train ride home, you was set. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, but we can talk about my Zoom thing. Oh, my God, I feel like I'm leaving them and thirsty for my Zoom <laughs> trivia talk. I feel like they can't handle it. <laughs> I feel like I'm teasing you. Um, But I was we were talking because we were talking about hustles and all of that and like different jobs we have. Like right now I'm doing that Zoom shit, like Zoom trivia, Zoom, right. Zoom uh, scavengers. And they do other ones, too. Like they were doing like Zoom gingerbread making gingerbread. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not pretending to like Christmas. Like, <laughs> I'm not pretending to do that. But so, like, these games, what they're set, what they're meant to do is that, like, a lot of these companies can't have holiday parties. So they would just be like, oh, for holidays, like, we're going to, we're going to get you guys, like, trivia on us. Right, like, we found a company that's a that holiday runs, like, party. a really fun trivia. Yeah, so yeah. just log on at this time, and yeah. then you, now you're in the hands of Ashlyn Salami. Yeah, <laughs> Salami. S- Ashlyn Salami. Yeah. So a lot of times, you know, like, you get these different, like, we've done Samsung, we've done Peloton, we've done NBC, we've done... um like the dicks man like the dick store mm-hmm. and the dick store it, it's so funny because we got all these oh we got all these businesses and usually the the people come in but 
we had this one group and they had like two scavengers and a trivia and they didn't show up for any of them. And when you don't show up, you still have to pay. You still have to pay. And like we come to find out like the, the, the owner texts us. He's like, yeah, it was a co- It was like college kids. It was like, yeah, no fucking duh. Like even schools are offering this up like as right. like, you know, ways for the <clears throat> class to get together or the school to get together or like just extra activities. I'm like, bro. If they wanted to play, like, they'd play heads up. You know what I mean? Like, that's just the wrong generation. Like, they'll get together and play beer pong. Yeah, like, I was going to say, the yeah, they'll go, yeah, they'll play generation. some other drinking game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm like, that's not, I know if I yeah, was in college. Maybe for fucking dork college. Maybe a dork university. <laughs> maybe for fucking nerd college. Maybe for fucking virgin yeah, college, okay? Not bitch like, boy university. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's where you get some yeah. someone signing up for a fucking Zoom Definitely show. Definitely not what day at the We Fucks what University. Day, what day of the week was the show scheduled? I don't know, like a Friday or Doesn't Thursday. fucking even worse, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking not at We Fucks uh, University. Yeah, um, I'm not going to the party. I'm going to zoom it up and do a scavenger hunt. Wait, guys, we can't get too wasted. We got to do trivia at seven. <laughs> No, no, I, no, no, no. I don't no, want this bong rip. No, I don't want to go to the underground secret non-COVID party. Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. No, guys, I'm not going to black out. I'm going to do a scavenger hunt and find some creepy weird ornaments in my house. Oh, God. But people like them. People fucking do, and they really have a good time. They really do. There was this one where, like, it was kind of weird. It's kind of weird to see dynamics, really, like, because, you know, I've never had an office job. Right. Never. I've, 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 I've either done, like, I've done retail when I was young, Aeropostel. Then I did the U.S. Open. And then I did Coogan's. That was just all, like, pretty much, like, not, <laughs> not offices. You know what right. I mean? Not office jobs. Right. And so, like, it's so weird to see the dynamic. And, like, honestly, some of these people act like when I get on the Zoom, they act like this is a fucking bar. Like, they start getting, like, loud and obnoxious. And, well, because like, they're all, like, around, like, there's these people that they're, yeah. I, I mean, know they're all mean. in separate homes, too. Like What I know, but yeah. they all see each other. So they're all like, hey, and what's And they up, start Frank? the fucking banter. And, like, I had this one guy, like, he was, like, fucking, like, he was, like, oh, cut the, he was, like, can we call, th- can we cut the music? Because we play, like, intro music, like, let everybody sell it in. He was, like, can you cut it? And we were just, like, he was just being so aggressive. And then he ended up losing, and that, to me, was great. <laughs> like, like when you do that shit to me, and you're like, oh, man, like, I forgot the, the, the A and the N, but I did put, like, like whatever. Like, you put a banter, but, like, I, I put it with an A, whatever. I'm like, oh, sorry, no, them's the rules. Got to spell it right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time don't tell me what fucking music I should play and the volume at which it should be played, bitch. Next scavenger question. <laughs> But sometimes, and sometimes I fuck with them too. Like sometimes you got one who thinks he's funny, and you gotta right. like shut it down, right? Right. Like one time, one time this guy was like, "Oh, I put I put um two names, and they're both right. Do I get extra points?" And I'm like, "No, you get minus points for being a fucking nerd." All right. <laughs> like that's what I told him. I said, "Oh no, minus points for being a nerd." <laughs> you know, like right. we one time I like uh, we had this fucking like. Do they laugh? Party? Do like other people laugh? Like are other people in the office, like, ha ha, he got you, yeah. Frank. Yeah, you yeah. are a fucking nerd. <laughs> they all start well, they, ganging yeah, up on him. Yeah, because you can always tell that the rest of the group knows because right. they've been working with this person. They're like, right. fucking Toby always wants to do extra work. Right. You know what I mean? So like, I'm like, Arr. and they're like, ha ha, they can do it because it's like the office. <laughs> like, it's like funny because he's my boss. You know, right. like, like all of them are my boss, but I like switch it on them. Right. It's so fucking funny. And we had like these, and I had like these gamers. Like sometimes you get people too who like don't know how to use Zoom, right? But I had these gamers, man. They were the fucking best. They hacked your computer. They hacked my <laughs> computer. They gave me like all the Game of Thrones games that are coming out. Right. Like they fucking, they hooked me up. They like, turned I got, my like, entire computer I got into GTA 6. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, but they were cool. And you get people like that too who are just like, they mute themselves. And they fucking shut up and do the work and they do a little bit of banter and then they mute themselves again. And those are my favorite. You know what I mean? My favorite, though, my favorite is the people that don't show up. <laughs> well, right. Yeah. Because <laughs> you still get paid for them. Those are <laughs> my favorite. Right. Yeah. How many of those have you had? One. I've only had one. Oh, okay. Only the college kids. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, they should try to book more college gigs. Yeah. <laughs> I suggest it. <laughs> yeah. I should like go around being like, and they want me as a host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
I wouldn't fucking like as a kid going through all of this right now, like I I wouldn't fucking do no trivia. Like you're not gonna catch me on a computer. I gotta learn on a computer all day, and then I gotta go on a computer to play. Yeah, fuck that. F- no, I'm catching COVID. I'm gonna go get beer pong. I'm gonna play flip cup. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna fucking bob apples. Like <laughs> I'm fucking done. Like you know. I'm gonna bob apples. <laughs> That is the least COVID friendly game. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking I'm fucking sick of it. Hell yeah. You know, we these kids can't even fucking date. I mean they can. I mean, but they can't date like regular people. They can't go on dates. They can. It's just, I mean, well, also, you got to think about what state you're, I think you, we both think New York all the time. No, I don't. There's like, no, I yeah, don't. But, but if you're in Florida, it's open but season. But if you're in California, we got like a lot of West Coast. We got a lot, we what? got, we got a lot of European people too. That talk, was funny. Are you talking yeah. about listeners? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Zoom people. Oh, 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 oh. Never mind, never mind. I just thought we were talking now about generally dating. But no. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was talking about the college kids. Like, they're oh. going to fucking go on their computer and fucking right. play. Like, they're going to, like, they can't no. date. You know, they're not fucking, they don't have a regular life. And you want to suck them into that too? Right. You know what I mean? We got, right. like, we got these Europeans, right? And I fucking, I'm, if you don't know me, I mispronounce words like no tomorrow. Like, I, like, I, like, Braggingly will say I'm at a fifth grade reading level. <laughs> Braggingly. <laughs> Braggingly. <laughs> Do you know my fa- you know my favorite word that you say one of my favorite words that you say is um when you say very, it's almost like a W, you're like very. 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 Like a very disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. Like very. it's like the like very. your lip doesn't like very, like very, it's not like the sharp, like very. It's like very, very. It's very lazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's lazy. <laughs> it's lazy. That's what it is. It's lazy. But it's see, lazy I talk. don't look at it as lazy. I just look at it as no. I'm telling you, it is. It, that's what it is. That's just like it's like fast and like and like lazy. It's like you know what I mean. Yeah. That's what that's like, that's why I don't like. Everyone's like, oh, maybe then you should read. But more. see, but it's I'm not sure. all lazy because sometimes you add s's to stuff that don't need s's, and then see that's extra work. Yeah, but that's the Hispanic woman in me. Right. <laughs> that's what that is. Like when you do plural, like which no matter how you say it is a weird word plural, but when you be like Texas, like if multiple texts. Yeah. Oh, she texts me. Yeah. Oh, uh, th- we we send back all these texts. Yeah. Texts. 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 No, it's Texas, man. She texts me. She texts me. She texts me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fun. And before when you were talking about the weather, you go, you know, I've seen bad weather, like lots of rains, hails. <laughs> Scales, volcanoes. Hails. Scales, bales. Lavas. Lots of yeah. lavas coming. I mean, I just. I've but see, that's not lazy. That's extra. That you're adding an extra a word. You're adding an extra letter. So. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm trying to tell you, I it's not lazy. I can't read. Like, I, not that I can't read. I can read. I can't read out loud. <laughs> like, I can read in my head. Well, I yeah, can't I'm read out loud. Out yeah, yeah loud that's my problem. I can read in my head. I can't read out loud. So, and even like, you know how like I say those like Texas. It's not like I added like in my spelling. No. Yeah, right, but yeah. you know, so you see what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like I can read. I can write. I just like it's it's like my accent and like right. all of that. So, um, I forgot what we were talking about. Uh, uh, something about how I talk. So yeah, so I, I could barely read right out loud. Like I don't like it. So, um, I'm trying to think of the words. Oh, so you were we, saying about the, the European Europeans. people yeah, and yeah. you say words wrong. Right, 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 right. So like they, it was trivia and you got to like read everything to them. Scavenger I like because you don't got to read shit. You're just like, go find these. Oh, did you find this? Did you find that? You know what I mean? And then there's music and posters and like that. But like trivia, you really, you know, there are some hard questions. Right. You know what I mean? Like they get, right. like big words, like a chord. And <laughs> a chord. And threshold, right? I'm saying huge <laughs> fucking words here. What did she say? Did she say threshold? <laughs> so, so they were like, um, they were like, I kept saying like, oh, I said some fucking word, Prague. But I said, Prague or Pragu or something like that. And Pragu. <laughs> <laughs> 
and and they were like Pragu. and they were like Prague. Do you mean are you talking about the very high fashion club city of Prague? They were like they were like Prague, and I was like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, at the end, like, I said, like, other... And I was like, guys, you know, I'm just American. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, okay? I'm American, and, like, I just blamed it on America. It's not America's fault, but were it they, is. Like, were they laughing? Yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, because that's what they think. They're like, these fucking dumb Americans. <laughs> <laughs> and I sure <laughs> fit the stereotype. I fucking hate... I hate when those, like, like like scandinavian like those white like blonde style europeans like i don't even i don't care if they're like a fucking if they're like a biochemical engineer if they're like in new york and in front of me and they're like oh can i get to um uh, how do you say is the uh, uh mocha uh, frappuccino with uh extra shot of uh, how do you say uh i'll be behind them like Hey, Momo, let's go. You know, I'm, I'm calling him like a Riri and stuff. Like, hey, he's just like, I'm a biochemical engineer. I'm like, it's coffee. Get it and move. <laughs> like, I, I have like no patience. Like, I instantly think that they're like dumb, even though I know that they're not. That's just Why? like where my head goes. I'm like, just say the word, bro, and move on. Why do you think they're dumb? Because they can't speak English. And this is America, bro. <laughs> That's why. America doesn't have a, a, a... How do you say... Uh, just say it wrong. Say it wrong and we'll figure it out. You don't got to get it right, smarty pants. Take the chance. Say something. Just say anything, bro. Don't sit there. Uh, uh, how do you say... How do you say... Because uh, uh, even if you say it wrong, someone's going to guess what you're trying to say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. Or point. Yeah. Just take a chance and keep the line moving mostly. <laughs> like Bruges. Mostly just Bruges. keep the line moving. What's Bruges? Bruges? Yeah, where's Bruges? Prague? It's near Prague. It's yeah. in that area. Um, I, I, you know it's spelled with a G? Prague? No, Bruges. How, how is Bruges spelled? Um, oh, like B-R-U-G-E-S. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I was like, Bruges. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Well, there's like weird, there's also like weird shit too when you're de like dealing with like other accents and then how things are said right so like i'll even give you an american example and an american example right if you go up to massachusetts there's a town that's spelled p e a b o d y mm -hmm. how would you pronounce that Let's spell it again can i get a can i get a, a p e a b o d y peabody right that's how I would pronounce it as well. If you ask somebody from up in that area, like this, this happened to mm -hmm. me. We were on like a, I went to school up there for a little time. We were driving a bus. I go, Peabody, what a weird town name. And they're like, what did you say? And I go, Peabody, that town Peabody. They go, it's not Peabody. It's Peabody, kid. Peabody. Peabody, dude. <laughs> this, hey, Sully, this dude just called it Peabody, dude. Like, Blew their minds. Yeah. Peabody. It's spelled Peabody. It's like, it's, but it's also like. So it's like, who's right? Like, clearly, I'm, clearly the, you and the, I are right, but they're from there. But the problem is that America is dumb and English <laughs> is dumb. That's the problem, right? Because it's like Greenwich, right? Yeah. It's like, it's like Houston. You know what I mean? It's like all these fucking words that could mean, it's like, that's why when people are like, oh, well, then maybe, like when people act all, all snobbity lobbity, snobbity lobbity. Snobbity dobbity. <laughs> when people act all snobbity lobbity with me about like the, pronun the pronunciation the of, the the of things, <laughs> I'm just like, English is fucking dumb. Like, you know that, right? Like, Colonel is not spelled the way it fucking pronounced. Like, Colonel. Like, I like how that's the. Cause that shit is so opposite. No, you're right. You're right. That's just a good pull. Like you're like you had. You're like Colonel. You Cause knew. Cause it infuriates me. Is this because we played Clue the other night? No, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, no, no, oh. No, no, no. I like. I've been like thinking about things over the summer because I've had nothing to do. Colonel. <laughs> so I've been thinking about fucking Colonel all summer long. Yeah. But wait, a Colonel of Truth. So but you're talking about like a general Colonel. Yeah. Like a colonel. Right. 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 Yeah, it's like C O L O. It's like spelled like colon. Colonel. Colonel. Yeah, it's yeah. spelled like colonel. It's it's just, just call him colonel. Like How about that? all those P H, the Phoenix, like yeah. all that shit? Bullshit. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking 
it. Yes. Like bear, 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 bear. Right. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? There's like, all those bears. Yeah, right? there's all those fucking bears. Weather, weather, dessert, dessert. Yeah, Come like, on, bro. I'm like, English is fucking stupid. Don't tell me how to pronounce it. Yeah. You know, I know Spanish. I know a real language. Right. You know? Our, yeah. Yeah. It's not a sexy language. Yeah. It's fun, though. It's a, It's fun. It's, it's a, fun. It's a language where you can create anything. So yes. I really love that it's about like it. It's like the Legos of languages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You could really be speaking the same, like, like even some, even if you take like, like we said, like something as dumb as like the Peabody thing yeah. versus Peabody. But even like, if you go to like, uh, like, have you ever heard like someone who's like from Jamaica, like talk, you'd think they're speaking a completely different language, but they're speaking English, but with like thick accents yeah. and crazy slang, yeah, yeah. like insane yeah. slang, like, and it becomes a completely different language. So yeah, it is. That is kind of cool about it. But yeah, that's what that's the coolest thing about it. It's like, you know, it's like very young. It's like you can create anything. You can create any word. Is Spanish like that? Like, I obviously I know there's variations in Spanish, but do you think yeah. it has that same capability? No, to... because like bling bling, like that's in the English dictionary. Right. That was created by a rapper. Right. Like, what's the other one? Fucking Paris Hilton created it. Uh. Uh, and she actually fucking YOLO? <laughs> no, but like YOLO, like now people use that. We know it's their acronyms, <laughs> but th it's still like, wait, what did cre she create? She created this fucking, or she trademarked something. Was it hot? That's hot. That's, that's hot. That's hot. Oh, she trademarked it, so it's not the that's it's not the hot. same thing. Yeah, that's I hot. don't know. I'm guessing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It maybe, seems like but, something. But she maybe would she say. trademarked because they were talking about how Little Wayne should have um, trademarked. Uh, bling bling because everyone uses it and he didn't make any money off of it right so they were saying because you know people trademark like sayings and shit like that but he came up with bling bling I, there's no I, after i mean if you're i mean he, here we go into splitting hairs <laughs> here we fucking go here is splitting hairs look that at what chris does did not look come up what with chris bling. does did he create it because i could see him was, be like well i didn't wait, come up with a bird I was he the first person saying. no a baby was probably the first person to create bling bling but he created it to mean what it means bling bling like all the ice but i'm he saying created he that came way. up with that he didn't hear that somewhere else. That wasn't a oh, thing from the this south. This is why you're so black and white. That's not what I'm saying. Look, he, you're you're but what you're saying is he brought it to for you. He brought it, he made it popular. I'm saying did he? I don't. Are we sure that he invented it? Like he invented the meaning bling bling. It's like I Elvis he, with music, right? Elvis he, didn't write a lot of I the music, he but he invited, made it popular. I think he invented how it's used. All right, let's look it up. Who invented bling bling? Blah, 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 blah. There was a point in the early 2000s, uh, virtually inescapable in pop culture. Not only did bling become a slang phenomenon that got an entry into the dic the uh, mm -hmm. Merriam-Webster dictionary, but also proved to be a critical turning point for the career of Will Wayne, who coined the phrase, who created bling? See? Cash Money rapper BG is actually credited with coining the pop culture slang for jewelry. However, Lil Wayne rapped on Outkast Hollywood Divorce that he was the creator of Bling Bling. So that's what I'm saying. Like, he definitely, he definitely like holds the title for bringing it into yeah, but the world. He's but Cash like, Money Records, so is the other guy. They're the same record label, so that could be just a fucking argument. Either way, he created it. That's what it says on paper. Like he created it. He coined. So there were. That's. There's a lot of things that are written on paper. I mean, Chris, I could write a lot. I could draw any. Chris, like, there's a lot of things of a lot of things of a lot of things of a lot of things, but we can't split hairs on everything. Okay, he fucking created it. That's it. That's it. You want me to go like into a deep dive and be like, who did Little Wayne really steal it from? And who fucking knows? At the end of the day, he made it popular. I just can't imagine that of all the time that's gone on for the for the show. I mean. He did. People have even said he should have trademarked the term. It was him. People have said that. Because that, um, Paris Hilton trademarked that's hot. That's hot. Or whatever the fuck. I think it's that's hot. I think it is. But, you know, enough about me. Let's talk about you because you have issues. I <laughs> I do have to pee. Dickhead. That's one thing. Peabody. Uh I let uh, you hold the magic stick. 
Yo, 50 yeah, Cent was hot for a minute. Man. Did you see how skinny he got for that um, movie recently? No, what movie? He got skinny for some movie. He tried to pull like a fucking... Uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale from The Machinist or something. Yeah. Or, or like... like or Joaquin kind of Phoenix. Yo, he looks... His like... Was it Joaquin Phoenix? Is that what I'm doing? Yeah, 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 for Joker. Yeah. Yo, look up look up 50 Cent Lose Weight. Fit... <laughs> Such a, I love Google because that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And he'll, he looks like a Somalian uh, boat pirate. Yeah, he looks like he'd be like, I take, I'm take, i the captain of this ship. Yo, he looks sick. Right? This is bad. Here's what's fucked up. Uh, call me racist, but like when I saw that, I, at for, when I saw the trailer for that movie, I thought when they were like 50 Cent, I was like, oh, it was an edit error. That's DMX. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's DMX. Well, because he that's shaved not, his head and everything. Yeah, I was like, that's not that's not 50 Cent. Wait, let's see. Let's see DMX. Oh, like they did the Kevin Hart thing, remember? Yeah, in the yeah. summer, they did like, <laughs> they did Chad, Chadwick Boseman or something like that. And they put like Whatever. Kevin Hart's uh, yeah, picture yeah, yeah. on the article. Wait, let me see who you said DMX, DMX a lot. <laughs> I just thought it was like more of a... Dude, d- you're not wrong. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, thank you. Validity. You're yeah, not wrong. I, I was just like, I, is this, I, I thought it, he just looked like a cracked out DMX, but it's 50. 50. They say in 50, you hot. They love me. They want to love me. They want to. What is it? Yeah. He's they got like, like the me, most. They, lo- they like very, me. They love me. They like me. They love me. Like he's got like yeah. an interesting speech impediment because like his teeth are too big for his mouth. No, it's because he was shot in his jaw. I was shot in my jaw. Yeah. <laughs> like Kanye was. Kanye. Yeah, but Kanye has more like. You know, he's more Respect. inflection. <laughs> he's also divorced now, so. I know. Kim K divorced him. I mean, we all sound sad coming. about it. Me? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I could care less. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to be sad for rich people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that fucking ridiculous. Like, they're like crying and like wiping their tears with $100 bills. I'm like, I'm <laughs> I'm like, I need a stimulus check, but I feel so bad. For we have crying. cryogenically frozen yeah. children. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. All right. So 50 Cent lost some weight. Yeah, the 50 you hot. They yeah. love me. They like me. They want to. Fuck, they love me. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, I can't think of his other songs. But anyways, this is a. This is the end of the second is, episode. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the third, third episode. Episode. Ep- ep- episode. Ep- ep- episode. This is our third outro because um, Chris and I talk too much. And we yeah. thought that we could put two big ass stories into one podcast. Yeah. But you know us. We start to argue about the color orange and (laughs) things go left and they go right. Right. (laughs) And then we move forward and then we move right back. Yeah. You know, it goes off on the rails, but then we always end up coming back to, you know, just being on, you know, we end up, we always, I feel like, end up on the same side of the, I don't know, coin. Yeah. No, we we do. We do. We usually, I I We fight it out to get there. Yeah. But at least we know we earned it. Yeah, and at least we know that we don't like each other. Like when, <laughs> when we get up, we go, "Finally, bitch, I'm done with you. Yeah. Get out of here. Don't text oh, me." Oh man, I fought her so hard today. Sometimes, like when we're done hanging out, I'm just like, I'm like, man, I really battled her good today. <laughs> and then, but like, I always leave from it like, like I'm like, she was a worthy adversary. Yeah. And no, then, like, when I, I leave, yeah. I always go, I gotta get better friends. <laughs> I'm like. I'm like, I can blame my friends all I want, but I choose my friends. And, some, and there is something to be said. That's every time I leave you. That's what I think. Okay. Yeah. Well, But we, we have great conversation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, And I bust your balls a lot, but, you know, we do, we do have a good time. Well, yeah, you bust my balls, and, you know, I like to try to, like, bust your ovaries, and then, like, you don't always go for it all <laughs> the time. my ovaries. <laughs> but... That's sexist. I can't have balls. Oh, oh. <laughs> Women can have balls. Yeah. Starfish can have balls. They do. They do. My true. dude can have balls. Yo, my guy can have balls, bro. Yeah. So, you know, but we do have a good time and that's the problem here. And it's a good problem to have. Great problem to have. Yeah. So if you listen to our next episode, um, it's just part two of this. We it literally. It's like a part two, but like not really a part two because like. It's a different well, subject. See. Yeah, it's a fun story. It's a fun. Uh, I don't even know how to leave people on the edge of the seat. Let's just put it this way: I mm-hmm. go on a date, and we're happy for it with <laughs> a crazy gilf. 
who also is a fugitive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I was like, you're not getting to the juice yet. I'm like, yeah, that's not the yeah. juice, baby. Yeah, 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 we yeah, don't yeah. expect anything less from you, baby. <laughs> you like how I'm trying to diverge from the real yeah, thing with yeah. like the other stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to so, list it all. Yeah. yeah. So, But it's great. We discover a lot of things. Yeah, the story get, is awesome. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're not biased. So we're not saying. Not yeah. biased at all. But no. like. You know, we hope you like this. And if you don't. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This was like a fun episode that we did. I'm like talking about it as if I'm like remembering exactly. Yeah, what I don't happened, even remember but. this episode. I don't even remember how we started this, this, this <laughs> outro. <laughs> But we want to thank you guys for still listening and uh, yeah. being a part of the Splint Hairs. Um, we're going to come up with a name for you guys. Yeah. I bet by this point, we will probably also have like some kind of an email or something. Yeah. Or we're well, working can... on an email. You know what? Let's say that. I'm. We are working on getting a Splitting Hairs email so that you guys can write in. So that you guys can email us. Because, right. Because, yeah. I would like that. Yeah. I would like fan interaction. I think you would like any interaction at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's been dark <laughs> throughout this pandemic. You're like, write me, ask me how I'm doing. <laughs> See what's up with me. Let's we Miss can like, me, talk recipes, me. talk about movies. But so we hope you like this this uh, this episode. The next one is just a part two, and it's it's fire. It is fire. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's it's. It goes in a direction that I don't think any of you are expecting it to go in. I and mean, that's what kinda, I'm most proud of. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said the fugitive like, thing, but... Yeah, but that yeah. means... Yeah. I mean, with you, it could be anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, you know, yeah. I don't think you really know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's, if it's a wild date for Chris... Fugitive, you know what I mean? Like, fugitive, like, let's put it this way. She didn't rob a bank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't murder anybody either. But anyways, anyways, let's stop. Let's stop teasing yeah. you. We're such. We we, we be teasing. We're teasing. I like play games. I we, fucking play games. We love to tease them. I love teasing. But so listen to the next episode. Um, before we go, Chris, would you rather have the ability to fly or read minds? On three, one, two, three, fly. fly. Fuck yeah. my man. Fuck yeah. Because reading minds is too dark. Right? I Is that your reason care. too? People are just, you just too don't dumb. Care. Oh, people are too dumb. Yeah. See, like I feel like I it, it's too it's T uh TMI like too much information. You know what I mean? It's like oh, it can have a negative effect. Yeah, right. But yeah. flying, I'm just like I'm going to Puerto Rico, bitch. Flying, I'm like they're like you're under arrest. I'm like yeah. no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you are. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. flying, there's just like the the possibility is endless. The problem with flying though is. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. You yeah. got to be able to fly faster than you can walk, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? If you can only fly and you're just like going at like you your max speed is like, like 5 miles per hour. Like, I'll just but it's get like... on, I'll just pay for a flight. <laughs> You're like, someone call me an Uber. Like, Kate's like, on your back. But you just, like, go to the corner, and you're like, I'm just going to hail a cab. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it works in the city, yeah. right? Where you're just like, oh, I could just, like, float. No, I mean, I, I mean, to the best of its uh, capability uh -huh. for both. So, yeah, I would rather fly. All right, yeah. guys. We don't care what you want.